Good afternoon, love, and good afternoon, light. Good day, good morning, good evening, whenever and wherever you are. Thank you for joining me in this moment of tranquility. My name is Wendy, and I bring to you the infinite languages of lights. As we, I take this moment of tranquility, I just wanted to share just a few moments of tranquility. It's a bright, beautiful, sunny day here in Tennessee. And I was just taking a little walk. It's, it's actually only 70 degrees, which if anybody, uh, any of you guys know me, you know how I love numerology. So of course I had to look up what 70 degrees Fahrenheit is in Celsius and it's 21111. So there we go, 1111. So 21111, <laughs> happy spring if you're here in the northern hemisphere and happy autumn if you're in the fall hem if you're in the southern hemisphere so i i wanted to take a moment to share with you this bright sunshine day it is absolutely actually it's pretty intense here in the in the sun so um i i may i'm going to switch the camera around here just in a few minutes to to share a little bit more of of the surroundings with you but i just wanted to take this moment to just allow you guys to just feel the light codes of the sun and the water and to be I've got a boat boater coming up ahead of me here um, so I just wanted to take a moment to share this tranquility with all of you there's a gentle breeze blowing the honeysuckles blooming wild uh, the the wild raspberries <laughs> and blackberries are, are flowering and will soon to be blooming here. So I just wanted to share with all of you this brilliant moment. Le ima ki iso te yandara ki inana mita shiki atara shana seti ila ki la hala liana ni ki kli aso motor she and there's my lady of the lake here our guardians of Gaia the stone speakers if we could only imagine that this land was untouched and has been untouched for millions of years really. And I'm deeply connected to the Native American spirits. Many of my <laughs> many of my light languages feel like I'm connected to every tribe. <laughs> uh, Itashanaki, the idea of that the inner shaman in us that understands that we really can connect with and communicate with the sky, the 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 cloud collectives see I'm 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 hot my my uh, glasses keep falling down the sky collectives the water collectives this the the sand the soil the crystals within the earth and the more lately I have been communicating with my own crystals the more brilliantly my awareness becomes when I'm outside when I'm connecting with Gaia the it's, it's activating more of my own crystal in consciousness. It's activating more of my ability to communicate and it, it, with, with all of the elements and the elementals and, um, and all of the kingdoms as I see the different color butterflies flying around and being able to literally bless and connect with the water. And this was again just another impromptu uh, walk down here. Um, I've been extremely busy um, with personal uh, projects and travel plans and um, a lot of just family stuff. Um, I've been doing my own integrating and um, literally, literally uncovering the the lotus layers. Um, you know, and and 
accepting and allowing um, and all of the things that often come up when we are in these situations where we're with members of our, our family and friends that don't necessarily connect the way that we do. And the, a lot of the, um, all of us, I think are processing all of this old stuff, you know, the old anger issues and, and realizing that, you know, that old saying, um, love means never having to say you're sorry. And when you understand that everything's unconditional love and that, everything is an experience and everyone is having an experience and when we stop judging our own experience and um being angry at ourselves or other people um i i'm finding now myself able to actually utilize the tools that i have been gathering over the last well, wow, since, well, probably the last almost 20 years. So, um, and what the light languages have brought to me and what this, what my intuitive um, information that I've received, all of it, um, I'm learning now how to actually apply this stuff in my life to create that parallel reality that I desire, that I truly want and instead of looking at the lack of it trusting that that if that is what i really want if that's what i want to experience now that is what i'm going to experience now the intentional calendar here lo combo son to say i attention say the truly i have to say this last probably 8 weeks has been one of probably the most difficult since the beginning of this year. <laughs> and it's interesting because I'm a Sagittarian, Jupiter rules Sagittarius, um, and yet it's actually retrograde right now in Sagittarius um, for a little while. And ev so everything that we're all experiencing is magnified. Jupiter is the largest body in our solar system and Sagittarius is also the most deep the, the 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 sages the teachers the the actors the musicians um they symbolize creativity and and shooting those arrows and then and then not letting anything stop us um and 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 all the reasons why we blame others for not being our authentic selves and for all the reasons that because we think we won't be accepted we think for all of those judgment reasons and i think all of those things tend they do come up when we have any type of uh, family gathering where we're in different vibrations and yet what i've also understood more acutely lately is how do i accept myself and be myself and still express myself without needing anybody else's acceptance, without needing to justify um, uh, justify wanting to to find peace and tranquility in my life. And I, I find it interesting how people will go to great lengths to justify their anger, to justify why they're still where they are why they're still stuck, why um, the reasons why they can't be different right now. And I know now I can apply those tools and I know now that I can be connected to all of this while still Bringing and bringing all of that, this, these light codes, this information, this higher dimensional frequency information. If you guys, there it is. You can see the sun behind me. 
This is the master's class. I mean, this that's what this is all about, is about understanding that now there's no excuse not to apply this information and these tools to create the reality that we desire. And that includes the relationships um, or the the lack of need for these for this approval and the, and these relationships for us to feel complete that we've got to feel sure and complete within ourselves and to stop and and to stop judging ourselves and once we are that example of that then there is there is no longer any need to to justify or blame anybody for anything that we choose moment by moment. And when we exemplify that, when we are examples of that, walking examples of that, that is the, <laughs> I'm hearing actions speak louder than words, that, that that is, the action is what speaks. Um, and and that the you know the the walking our talk you know I don't know if you guys can see how beautiful the light codes are dancing off the off the water right now. The itaka simori yasha na liya ma elkuko soso supusha na kileki isha no pura le isha no toria ba i la ketoria ma i kosha no pala hala kotia baso no te elaki. It is just an absolutely gorgeous, perfect day, beautiful breeze, mm, and I can smell the honeysuckle. Every moment that we choose tranquility, we are giving ourselves permission to become more of ourselves, to, to discover, uncover more of ourselves. And I have a hundred other things that I could be <laughs> um, doing right now. But I've, again, I'm applying those tools that moment by moment, if I'm choosing my bliss and my happiness of what excites me, then I know everything is going to happen in exactly perfect timing. And I have proven this to myself, especially over the last seven days for all of these the things that I've had to, to do and arrangements that every single thing has been truly flowing. Even when it seemed like there was a hiccup, I know, I knew right away there was, it was perfect. It needed to happen that way. And as it turned out, that is exactly what happened <laughs> is it was, everything came out exactly perfectly the way that it needed to. So when, so when we're following our heart, following our bliss, just like Bashar always said, synchronicity and doing things moment by moment by following your highest excitement as far as you can take it, whatever that is, it, it, it doesn't need to be anything profound. <laughs> um, whatever that is, whatever doesn't get done at the end of the day didn't need to get done. And how many times has that happened to us where it just never ever needed to get done and that that moment that you that you chose peace that you chose tranquility that you chose to stand in your bliss that gives your higher self that that beam of of recognition that you're appreciating that you're showing gratitude for your existence and to give you more things that make you feel that way and to guide you moment by moment to the people and the places and the things and the spaces that you need to do and meet and create in order to manifest that which you desire. And absolutely everything that I see around me is, is something that was in my vision in one way, shape or form over the course of my lifetime. And by as often as possible, following my instincts, following my intuition, following my heart space, being me, being the white sheep, but the black sheep for being the white sheep, 
um, you know, the one that wanders off, you know, uh, Wendy wanders, Wendy wonders. I wonder about everything. And that is what makes my world so full. How a moment, one moment spent can feel like, like a week, just like, like meditation and channeling. It, it can be, um, there is no time. So not when I hear my ride coming, <laughs> there is no time. <laughs> See how quickly it went by. I, I just, I wanted to, to walk and show you the, the blooming honeysuckle. So maybe I can catch it behind me here. So I just wanted to to be the bridge to your tranquility today, to give you permission to be you, to be blissful, to be, um, to, to, to express what, what makes you magical, what makes, what brings you magic. I don't know if you guys, I was trying to see if you could see the, the lights, <laughs> the light goes off the water. They're just so beautiful. And here it is, guys, the wild honeysuckle. Can you see it behind me? And the wild daisies are blooming. I love daisies. They're they're bright and cheerful and yellow and white. And so they remind me of the sunshine within us. And, and they just look like smiling faces to me. And the daisies actually um, also help us, all flowers, all the flowers also help us connect to our hybrid families. I had a very emotional experience on my meditation yesterday, um, <laughs> sending and receiving love to my hybrid children um, and those that I care for as well. And But the ones that actually uh, have more of my DNA and that, and I sent love to the parents and to them. And, and so when we do these things like this, we're, we're sharing our experiences with them. And, and when we send that love, we can feel that love in return. And the flowers, the birds, all of this, all of it is a language of love, of unconditional love, of which is the vibration in which they live and respond to. Isho <laughs> So I wanted to just share a little bit more of my world with you. And I, I get so emotional all of a sudden just because now I feel, this is what I feel. And I feel my, my hybrid children right now thanking me for sharing that with you guys. And, and it's like, it's just by me saying it, I, I became the vibration of it. And I felt that the, like the love beam go out and come back. So it kind of made me all, <laughs> whew, made me emotional and teary. So <laughs> sorry guys. Um, but this is my, this is my thing. <laughs> this is my reality. And there's nothing more <laughs> exciting and joyful and blissful and, um, Nothing opens my heart more than doing this and sharing this with all of you and to remind us all how all of this is what it's all about. The little things are the big things. This is how we connect. It's, it's simple. 
All we need to do, just like we've always heard, is just allow. Allow, allow by being grateful for what you are, for how is what you are experiencing now serving you and by your gratitude with that, it allows you to step on to the next part of the journey, the next part of the master's class, the, the uncovering and unfolding and discovering of all that you are. La umosoto shelihara la mala alusumorokia iliasa nasete. So I love you. Thank you again for being with me in this way, in this now. I just I'm surrounded by butterflies everywhere. So they're just they absolutely love all the wildflowers. Yara isanase. And I love that song, The Flower Girl. I love The Flower Girl. It's a really old song, but it's one of my favorites, so it just came to my mind. So if you're not familiar with it, uh, check it out or I'll Put the link down below. <laughs> Invite your guides, your spirit family, your ET families into your experience. And I can't tell you how it has helped me navigate my own experience here and how it has, how it has helped me learn and grow and teach. Um, and share that wisdom from my own experiences and my own processes. So, thank you once again. The bridge is always there, you guys. The bridge is always there. Open up the light within you to see the bridge that you're already there, that you already are, that's already there. I love you. Mahala namaste.